Hey, my name is Jane Casey, and I'm here to show you how to make kombucha. And I'm going to tell you what kombucha is and why you want to drink it. So I'll tell you a little bit about the history of kombucha. It's believed to have been um, originated in either Russia or China hundreds of years ago and used as an herbal tonic. And it's making a bit of a resurgence right now, so people are becoming more and more intrigued by this. The cool thing about kombucha is there's several things. First of all, it's very easy to make. It's very cheap to make. And it's just amazing for your body. So I'm going to show you, this is a finished product, but I'm going to walk through the steps, show you what you need to do, where you can buy the stuff, and then how you can do it. So the recipe calls for three quarts of filtered water, and then one cup of sugar, and I use all organic drink ingredients. And so with the sugar, you absolutely, for this particular thing, you have to use sugar. You can't use maple syrup or agave or honey or any other sweetener. It just won't work. Because what the sugar does is it's making the good bacteria and the yeast grow. So again, it's the three quarts water, one cup sugar, and then what I use for teas, you're going to use tea to brew this, is that I use black tea that's decaffeinated. Again, it's organic. And then I use an herbal blend that is um, this particular one I really like because it's got strawberry and hibiscus and rose hips and some other things in it. And then if the taste, the finished taste, you can see the color in this. It's amazing. It tastes like a fruit punch, and it's so good for you. So why do you want to drink kombucha? So it, what we've found and what I believe it to do and many others is that it is, um, builds your immune system as well as aids in digestion and also helps your liver detoxify. So if that's not enough con to convince you, I really think once you get used to the taste, which I love, um, it is a magical drink. I can't say enough about it. So we're going to walk to the water, and um, this water is boiling. And so we're going to add one cup sugar, and then we want that sugar to dissolve. So you want to bring it to just a boil. You don't want to boil it hard because you want to keep the oxygen in the water. So again, it's filtered water. You want to bring it to a barely a boil, stir it, and then turn off the burner. And then these are the tea bags. I have the four black tea bags that I mentioned. Hi, right, thank you. And we're going to put those in there. And then I don't know if I did five or seven, whatever. I'm not good about measuring the herbal tea bags. And then I'd like to make sure that they get submerged. And then once I do, because this is my thing, I like to get it off the burner. Because that way I feel like it cools down quicker. So you're going to let this steep for 15 minutes. And then once it's finished steeping, you're going to take the tea bags out and you're going to throw them away. And then what you're going to do is you have to have glass containers. You can't use plastic. You can't use steel. You have to use glass. And you can use any shape or size. Just make sure it's glass. Uh, so, again, this is the finished product. And this is what I'm going to make the tea out of. And I don't know if I explained this yet. I probably didn't because I feel like everybody can read my mind. It's, um, this is called a SCOBY. And so this is the key ingredient in making this grow. And what, a SCOBY, what SCOBY stands for is Symbiotic Colony of Bacteria and Yeast. And that's good bacteria and that's good yeast. So again, think of the medicinal properties that I mentioned earlier about building your immune system, helping your liver de detoxify, as well as um, digest your food. Like if you can get those things in balance in your digestive tract, there's a, many kids who've got issues with their brain, and this is your second brain. So if you can heal your second brain, you really, I think, can, I believe that you can heal your brain. You can be much clearer. So anyway, again, we've got the tea brewing. And then I'm going to show you what we do after that. Cut. Oh, just, oh. Okay, so the tea has cooled. I took the tea bags out after 15 minutes and threw them out. And now I've got the tea, and I'm going to take it over here, and we're going to go to the finishing touch. So this is what you do. You um, pour it into the glass container, and then you take um, – these out. I'm going to take them all out. I just like touching these. They're kind of like a weird, wacky Play-Doh. <laughs> so you're going to put those on there. And generally, I'm not a great person for measuring, so I'd say a cup, and I'm like, okay, that looks like a cup to me. And then I'm just going to take the baby or the top scoby, and I'm going to lay it on here. And then what you do, and I'm 
So we'll show you because I need to grab a dish towel. Um, and you can use anything. I use, like to use stuff that's white, but that's just me. Then you're going to drape it over here. And you're just going to let, the, this, is, this is actually your finished, your finished product that's ready for lacto-fermenting. And that's what I forgot to tell you. Lacto-fermenting means it's the acidophilus that's in, or lactobacillus that's, um, lactobacillus that's in yogurt. That's what you're brewing. That's the main bacteria that you're brewing in here. So now you're going to go put this in sort of a semi-dark place. And the recipe calls for 8 to 10 days. I like to go closer to 3 weeks because that way I know that the sugar has been eaten out of it. And I'm like, that way, I also like it. It becomes a little more um, effervescent as well as kind of more like vinegar. And that one of the ingredients that's in um, kombucha is acidic, acetic acid, which is what's in apple cider vinegar. And that's one of the things that works on detoxifying your liver. I can get into more specifics about that, but just overall know that that's really a good thing. So this is your finished product. Um, until you go for three weeks and take it out. So with this, what you want to do, this is the done, this is three weeks of brewing, what I had showed you. You want to take this out and put it into glass jars and put it into your refrigerator and then drink it. And what I would recommend when you first get started drinking this, and particularly with kids, I'd probably do like a half an ounce a day just to get started because, again, you're, this is such a healthy thing. It's so full of... Um, Bact good bacteria, and it, you just want to adjust to it because most of our bodies don't have as much good bacteria, I don't believe, as we should. So, again, I would start with a half an ounce. I myself right now probably drink a glass of it a day, and some days I forget. So it's just, again, how you choose to do it. I do use some of this now with the kids. I'll make smoothies out of it or popsicles, so you can use it for a variety of things. But, again, glass containers, you want to bottle it. And then with the remaining because these things grow like crazy, you could do a couple things. And you can, um, I just want to show you, too, what happens with this. This one's pretty thick. But see, they split. Like, this one's gotten so thick because it's been in there for a while. And I'm trying to just show you how it kind of keeps growing like that. So um, you can do a couple things. You can take about a half a cup of the liquid and the mushroom and put it in a glass jar and put it in the refrigerator. You can give it to somebody else to start their own batch. Or you can throw it in the garden, or you can throw it out. Or you can use this whole thing to start your next batch. It's really what you want to do. But each time you make a batch, it multiplies. So it's just going to keep getting thicker and thicker. And the first few times I thought I saw this, I was like, okay, this is freaking me out. But um, I can't say enough about it. So anyway, that's Kombucha 101. And we're going to be back to share some more. All right, happy health. See you later.